Hello everyone, Manova Collectibles here with yet another Hot Toys unboxing and review video. And today we'll take a look at the Curzon card from The Clone Wars. Guys, a huge shout out to Day One Collectibles for sending me this figure. If you want to get this one or any other Day One releases, make sure you check them out. I put the link in the description below. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the latest Hot Toys releases, posting videos, figure previews, and now six scale and filter videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything. All right, guys, and over the talking, let's take a look at this figure. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, and here we have the packaging. And as you can see, we have a nice picture of the Coruscant Guard here in the front. This is a banner which is consistent now with Star Wars figures. This is the side of the box, nothing there. This is the back with all the Coruscant warnings, small pieces, do not eat it. This is the other side of the box with a nicer picture of the Coruscant Guard. Bottom of the box, Star Wars. Last but not least, the top of the box, Star Wars. Now let me open this up and take a better look at the figure and the accessories. And the first thing we have here, guys, is the insert art, obviously, with a nice picture of the Coruscant Guards here. As you can see, I love this red and white pattern, as you can see with the weapons. So I can wait for the poses, which, by the way, we have six again today. Six poses, not five. And here we have the Coruscant Guard, guys, and you can see the first tray is just the hands and a couple of accessories here. And don't, go, don't worry, we're going to go over in detail in the accessory section. Now, let me crack this baby open. And as soon as I open this, I can smell the brand new Hot Toys and I can wait to show you all the details of this figure. And this is how you'll see the Coruscant Guard in the packaging. You can see a very nice paint application with the red and white, a bunch of weapons. Underneath that, we have the base. So what I'm gonna do next is take everything out and take a closer look at the accessories. And here we have all the accessories and we're gonna start with the display base, which this time it is spelled correctly Coruscant Guard in the front in the name tag this is the base similar to the 501st Battalion Troopers so really nothing new in this area that's basically it for the base now this figure comes with a bunch of weapons and we're gonna start with this long rifle and as you can see guys I really like the paint application especially this metallic color again this is very similar to the 501st Trooper you can see the front this is the side love the weathering as well and of course the top of the rifle that's basically it for this one here now for the next one we have the spear if you will you can see very nicely painted as well and one thing that i would like to to see hato is doing more often is including some die cast weapons right like the old times if you guys are old collectors you know what i'm talking about so hopefully one day they will go back to those routes now you can see this kind of like a um, electric effect that you can put on the each of the sides of the spear so you just put it like so and it will give you the impression that this is basically ignite and i love it i like this detail last but not least we have the blaster here and again this is exactly the same as the 501st uh, blaster so really nothing new but the paint application and the color that we have in this looks awesome so can't complain on the detail then we have the you know detonators bombs whatever you want to call it one is pretty much flat this one you know is circle <laughs> so you can see the bottom very nice paint application as well with the little red light in the middle and then we have a badge of hand so i'm going to show you just two and you can see very nicely painted as well i love the design on the gloves as well so it looks pretty pretty good all right guys so now let's take a look at the figure all right guys and here we have the course on guard and my very first impression is positive now let me get my tip and see how tall this figure actually is and my tip is telling me that this figure is about almost 12 inches tall 28 centimeters all right guys now taking a closer look at the figure itself I have to tell you, I love this white and red. Very nice patterns. You can see the helmet here, some weathering in the front. I love the detail on the bottom with the red and blue. Then you can see the red paint application on the side as well. This is the back of the helmet and the black and red is a perfect combination. If you ask me, you can see some scratches here. Now this is the other side where the ears are located. You can see the profile here and of course the top with this red small mohawk whatever you want to call it it does look awesome then taking a look at the armor itself you can see more scratches and weathering going on 
this piece here you can move it up and down so that will give you more range of motion on the arm this is the side there the belt painted in red with a lot of scratches and a lot of weathering and i love it the body itself is very similar to the Fabo first so that's a really good sign and stay tuned for the articulation because this figure definitely can deliver that this is the gauntlet here you can see one um pattern there this is the other side of the figure with the gauntlet now this one doesn't have that um small you know design now moving down to the legs you can see the paint application very nicely done and guys if you're still watching this video please don't forget to like because liking this video helps a lot and of course don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future new hatos releases all right guys continuing with the review here this is the bottom of the feet you can see the red very nicely done as well this is the bottom of the feet with Lucasfilm LTD. This is the back and you can see a lot of weathering going on in this, uh, in the boots kind of. You can see the back, very nice paint application as well. Obviously we have fabric underneath. This is the back with a continuation of the belt. You can see a lot of scratches going on. Really like the design, how this back looks. And that's basically it. All right, guys, let's do some articulation, shall we? For the head, you can move it up this much, down this much, and to the sides this much. Pretty decent. Now, this piece, you can move it up and down, and that will give you more range of motion. So you can lift the arm for about this much. There's some swivel here, just a little bit. You can, uh, let me see, uh, actually, just a little bit. You can lift the arm for about this much, and of course, back for about this much. Not bad at all then you can bend the elbow for about this much and it is pretty decent to me and of course the classic pec articulation on the hand and then for the torso you have some swivel here and of course some up crunch you just be very careful because of the armor now for the legs you can split about this much because it is ratchet joints you can lift the leg for about this much and of course back for about this much pretty good i like it now we have some thighs articulation here and you can bend the knee for about this much. Last but not least, we have some ankle pivot. You can move it to the sides, up and down. So pretty good on the articulation section. All right, guys, so now let's do some comparisons. And here we have the Commander Cody with the Corson Guard and they look awesome together. Pretty much same height. All right, guys, for the next one, I have to include the 501st Battalion, and to me, the 501st Battalion is actually pretty good. If you haven't seen the review, I'm going to put the card up there so you can check it out. And of course, last but not least, I included Commander Cody again, but this time with the helmet. All right, guys, enough with the comparison. Let's do some poses.
All right, guys, my final thoughts about this figure is obviously very positive. Starting with the likeness, I think this is a really good representation of the Corson Guard. Now, the armor, the paint application, and everything else that this figure comes with is a huge, huge plus. The accessories are pretty decent. We have the spear, we have the long rifle, the blaster, a few hands, and of course, the uh, electric or fire effect that you can actually put on the spear. And because of that, my final score is 9 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also guys, we're getting closer to 5,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for the giveaway announcement. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook group 6 Media for anything related once the scale figures both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.